Welcome to the WebBikeWorld.com video tour of the Apuma Stealth motorcycle helmet. Visit WebBikeWorld.com for a detailed review of this helmet. The Akuma Stealth is a cousin to the Akuma V1 Ghost Rider helmet we reviewed on WebBikeWorld.com. The designer of the V1 was an AV F14 Tomcat pilot, and the V1 carries that theme, and it's also a pretty cool helmet. It has Akuma's integrated power system on board, which is a battery and recharging system built right into the helmet. This system powers these cool LED exhaust lights. These lights aren't just for show either. I've had people follow me at night and tell me that it adds to the visibility in the dark. The designer of the Akuma also helped pioneer the onboard battery and recharging system used in helmets like the AFX FX11 Light Force, which has both a built-in white LED flashlight and, believe it or not, a powered fan. The onboard system also is used in a showy Syncotec flip-up police helmet with an onboard built-in white LED flashlight. We have re detailed reviews of all of these helmets on webbikeworld.com. The Akuma Stealth has the onboard rechargeable battery, and on this helmet it powers the this built-in white LED flashlight and these cool LED exhaust lights in the rear. Those are the Akuma Stealth's neatest features, and if that was all it had, it would be, probably be worth a look. But this is actually a pretty high-tech helmet. It uses a fiberglass and Kevlar composite shell that meets both DOT and ECE 2205 safety standards. The fiberglass and Kevlar actually keeps the weight down, even with the battery and the LED lights. This size XL weighs 1,631 grams, which is just about the same as, uh, for example, the Icon mainframe, which doesn't have the lights and battery. It's only 7 grams heavier than the size XL Arai Quantum 2 we reviewed. It's lighter than the KBC VR2 and VR3 we reviewed, and it's even lighter than the Shoei X11 we reviewed, which is Shoei's full uh, race helmet. The Akuma Stealth has a F-117 Nighthawk fighter bomber scheme with U.S. Air Force markings and this really nice black and dark silver gloss paint job. The quality is excellent and the helmet flows a good amount of air through the separate top vents and the single chin vent. I'm not sure if these titanium metal mesh vents on the front and on the back are actually functional or not or just for show, but hey, titanium is pretty cool stuff, right? The liner is comfortable, but the helmet is a tiny bit short in the front-to-back dimensions, probably due to the electronics in the chin bar. These two hidden rocker switches actuate the lights in the front and back of the helmet. It uses this D-ring chin strap, and the extra length is secured with a piece of Velcro. Oh, and the visor seems extra large in the top-to-bottom dimension, which provides good visibility when riding a sport bike in a leaned-over riding position. The visor is also easy to remove, there's a button that slides up and the visor pops right out. So that's a quick look at a cool helmet, the Akuma Stealth with built-in battery charger and LED lights. For the complete detailed review and more close-up photos of the Akuma Stealth, please visit webbikeworld.com. That's our quick video tour of the Akuma Stealth motorcycle helmet. Thanks for watching.